Ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome back to Boss Comics. I really hope you all had an amazing holiday. I had a so-so holiday <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Um, there was a lot of illness in my family, a lot of crazy stuff going on. Money's been uh, really tight. Uh, so uh, the wife and I are probably going to be doing the bulk of our celebration uh, in the new year. Um, but that's okay. That's just, you know what? That's, that's one more thing to look forward to on the calendar. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, before I go further with today's topic, I just wanted to thank you all once again for your amazing support on this comeback. I took a couple of days off because, duh, Christmas. But, uh, you know, hey, uh, we got a few new subscribers since I came back. Uh, videos have been going uh, pretty strong by this channel standards anyway. Um, so let's see if we can keep that going. Um I don't think we're going to break 100 subs before uh, the new year, but uh, as soon as we do, uh, we're going to open up a Patreon, and we're going to try to kick this thing to the next level. Um, in any case, <clears throat> I watch a lot of comic book pundits. Uh, obviously, I have to uh, if I want to stay plugged into the conversation, uh, if I want to know what's going on. Um, it's reading a lot of the crappy comic book news sites and watching a lot of uh, YouTube channels uh, talking about the industry. And uh, I, you know what I find very weird? People more on my side of the political aisle, I, I'm, a, I'm a socialist, I'm like super left wing. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm one of those gremlins on the internet, okay, who, who wants like decommodified housing and democratization in the workplace and uh, healthcare for all of you. Uh, I'm a monster. Um, <laughs> but uh, liberal and onwards, right? And like, I'm no liberal, but like liberal and further left, I've noticed there's no like platform for our side to like talk about new. Well, no, okay, that's poor phrasing. We have a platform. But if you notice, <clears throat> people on my side of things, they don't really talk about news in the way that I do. Uh, if you look at the right wing pundits, um, Thinking Critical, for example, uh, Wes over at Thinking Critical. Um, I haven't watched an EVS video in fucking forever. But um, when I used to watch Ethan Van Skyver, God help me, uh, he you know would talk all the time about uh, at least in broad strokes about the 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 crazy shit, the downfall of the comics industry. Um, your boy Zach over at um, used to be Diversity in Comics, now it's Comics Matter. Okay. Um, I've started watching him again, mostly out of morbid curiosity. Um, still fucking hate most of the stuff he says now. But, you know, I, I like to see what's going on. <clears throat> the man does run successful indie uh, comic campaigns, which is something I'd love to do myself someday if this channel starts to make money. So, you know, it's it's worth hearing what he has to say about crowdfunding. Um, Perch from, uh, from uh, Comics with Perch. Uh, I don't think he calls himself a conservative. I think he calls himself a moderate, right-leaning. <clears throat> With all due respect, Perch, you, you sound like a conservative to me. Maybe that's just the boomer in you, you know? <laughs> uh, some of the things, like when he talks about like different concepts like going on in the industry, it sounds a lot like a lot of right-wing talking points more often than not. But that's a whole other thing. I'm not here trying to clown on people. But I, I'm bringing these people up because I'm trying to make a point. The progressive left that is involved in comics, like, they don't talk about comics in the same way. There are some, okay, comic pop, uh, they are, I don't know their political leanings because they don't get personal, funnily enough. But, I mean, I, I, I can tell that Sal and company uh, over at comic pop at least seem, like, far more progressive than any of, like, the comic skate crowd, Okay. Um, I, I seem to be much more aligned with them. Uh, they, they seem to know what's up. They seem like good, decent people, um, who want uh, things like equality and health and prosperity for everyone. Uh, so, you know, hey, badass. But, um, they talk about news a little bit more and more. I think they're slowly getting fed up and they're, they're opening up more as time goes on, even though they're still plugged into the industry and talking to creators and stuff. In the past, I've, I've mentioned how, um, I was kind of, would look forward with a little bit of apprehension about this channel becoming too successful because if I ever got to a place where I started to like really connect with creators and stuff, I was afraid of losing the ability to speak my mind because, um, you know, uh, 
some of the other larger channels, no names, but you can think of them. Um, they always seem really reticent to 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 like um, levy any really harsh criticisms at uh, the big two. I guess now it's the big three. Uh, you know, Marvel, DC, Image. You know, or, or whatever. Like, like there's just kind of to me, it always feels like everyone's holding back. You know, because we don't want to lose our hookups. We don't lo want to lose our good graces. And I'm not even really throwing shade, right? Like, I kind of understand all that. But anyway, some people have started to open up. But what, what I've noticed is nobody will criticize the industry like the right wing. And it's funny because I go on Twitter. Th this is not like... <sighs> I don't think it's ostensibly because they're left wing, right? There's this idea on the right that the left has infiltrated the comics industry and everything is is run by us and blah, 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 blah. It's like some like grand takeover. And we've, we've forced out all the rightoids and, and now it's like a, a socialist hug box in comic books. I, I kind of wish. Uh, no, that well, maybe. <laughs> no, but I, I don't really think that's what it is. I, I do think that, of course, for many reasons, comic books, the comic book industry is kind mainstream is ki kinder by far to uh, left-wing creators <clears throat> and of course left-wing creators are going to push um, left-wing ideas you know i've talked about this in other videos you know right-wingers are always like well why am i not being represented why am i not being given a fair shake because we think your views are repugnant and nobody wants to give you um time to talk about them because they're gross like you may not agree obviously you don't or you wouldn't hold those ideas but but that's what it what it's like for us you guys are the bad guys. You know, to a lot of us, it's like, why would we give Hydra a platform? I know I can empathize that that's really hard to wrap your brain around because to you, in your mind, you're the reasonable ones. I disagree. You know, so we, at an impasse, we remain. But uh, the, the point is, there's not a lot of left-wing, out-and-out punditry and reporting on, on, on my side of comic books. I want to get to a place where I can change that, even if it involves shooting myself in the foot a little bit. Um, but in the course of consuming all this punditry, uh, I've, I've noticed a trend that I find really fucking annoying that comes from a lot of these like right wing slash conservative fucking comic book uh, pundits is this trope of bringing your small child onto your program and then having them I'm not calling anybody out, but I know you've all heard this, okay? I'm not naming names. I'm not mentioning anybody specifically. One, because I'm trying to be sensitive where people's children are involved, but also because it doesn't matter who I bring up. You've all heard this. People will bring their small child onto their live stream or their video or what have you, and they'll show them a modern comic book, a modern woke comic book filled with wokeness, filled with terrible, awful, woke shit. And they'll show it to their kid and their kid. And, and when I say kid, I mean like under the age of eight. Like eight is pushing it. These kids all sound like four, five, six. And they'll show it to their kid and they'll be like, uh, you know, hey, 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 hey. Like, uh, you know, little, I'm, I'm making up names here. Little, jo little Johnny, little five, six-year-old Johnny. Uh, what, do you, uh, what, do you, what do you think? What do you think of this comic? What do you think of this woke comic book with Captain Marvel and her short hair? Or what do you think of this woke comic where... It's a bunch of minorities and like people are standing around talking to one another. What do you think about this? <clears throat> and the kid will say, um, eh, I don't know. They'll have like a non response. And then maybe they'll show them an older comic or like a, a comic from one of the crowdfunded books or something. Something that's more action focused, something that's a little more vibrant and less dense. And the kid will go, like, you know, they'll be like, hey, what, what do you think of this, little Johnny? And little Johnny will be like, yay, I'm six. I like colors. Thank you, daddy, for letting me be on your YouTube channel. Yay. And, and that's the point of this video is just that's such a fucking grift. And I'm so tired of it. <laughs> like, that's that's the video. That's the point. Like, I mean, there's a larger point to be had there, but you guys have seen that, right? You can't honestly fall for that shit. Like, okay, I using myself as a metric is a bit of a weird case because I've talked about this before. I was always a really precocious kid. Um, I was reading at a college level before I was ten. I'm I'm not. I I I'm absolutely brain damaged when it comes to math, but when it comes to 
um, you know, uh, the, the, the arts, uh, at least like, you know, writing and film and, and, and things of that nature. I'm, um, uh, reading like all those things. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty advanced. It's like always have been. Um, I've actually had, uh, friends who snap and yell at me for using big words. And, and then I snap and yell at them for being stupid. It's a, it's a cycle of life. Um, <laughs> A cycle of verbal violence, if you will. Uh, no, in any case. Uh, so I, I was always reading into things a little bit more deeply than my peers when I was growing up. But even so, when I was five, six, seven, I was so much more invested in things with action. If you put Watchmen in front of me when I was seven or eight, there is no fucking way I would be able to appreciate that book for the masterpiece of comics and literature than it is. It would be utterly wasted on me. I would be bored out of my fucking mind. So this 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 grift that they try to pull, where they use their small children as props, and the child is like, ew, what comics with no titties are bad? Like, get the fuck out of here. Stop. First of all, it's gross and weird that you're trying to use your child to push an agenda. Isn't that what you guys are fucking always bitching about? You think, like, all the fucking, you know, trans people are out here, like, gayifying, you know, the youth of America. Isn't that your big scare tactic right now? It's kind of like you guys, like, plunking your fucking kids down and, and making them, like, talk about how much cooler and better and awesomer these older comics or these, like, 90s facsimile uh, indie books are so much better than the woke garbage now that Marvel and DC and some of the indies are pushing to try to appeal to, like, the millennials and the Zoomers. It's a vapid tactic. It, it operates in bad faith. You have to know, of course your kid is going to respond to the fucking colorful fucking explosions. But I will tell you, while there are some cool, um, there's some cool action scenes in like uh, Watchmen or V for Vendetta, right? Um, uh, I'm trying to think of like other big like fucking comic book classics, right? Um, there's some cool action scenes in Saga, for example, right? But, like, um, that's not what we talk about, right? That's not what we talk about. The majority of what we talk about are the things like the actual plot, the characters, the themes, the, the things that make it so dense and impenetrable when you're five or six and you're like, I like colors and flashy costumes. And, and you know, depending on when I hit puberty, mm, I find some of these uh, tights and titties really fascinating. Um it's a totally different, a totally different dichotomy. So it's just, it's just really aggravating to me that some of these like fucking rightoid comic pundits like try to pull this crap. I, that's all I got. the The video is it, is done. It's over. We're Ferris Bueller, yeah, Ferris Buellering this shit. Okay, the the video is over. Goodbye. What? You're still here? Oh no. Okay. Um, that's it. I'm just putting a button on this. Uh, if you hear this shit, don't fall for it. You're smarter than it, okay? I believe in you. I have faith in your ability to overcome uh, these fucking tactics. Just, just think. Just think. I get, you know what? That's going to be the theme of this video. The next time you're listening to one of these fucking right-wing pundits, I say right-wing pundits, comic book pundits in general, right? When they start talking to you about the realities of comic books, and they're like, oh, the industry is dying, and it's because they have all the gays in the comics now, or whatever. Or they started giving attention to minorities, or they, you know, they're making everyone like female now. Like, when you start hearing this stuff, just really listen to it. Really listen to it. Try to think for yourself. Try to poke holes in the arguments. Try, try to hear, like, does that check out? Does that make sense? Now, I warn you, when I started thinking of things critically, like, that's when I started going, like, really hard left wing. So if that scares you, I don't know, maybe keep ranting about black people. But but I just, don't be fooled. Don't let them hoodwink you. That's it. Program's over. I love you. I'll see you on the next episode. There's going to be a link to donate down below. If you want to keep this channel going financially, please uh, like, subscribe, share this video. And remember, stay vigilant in your mind space. Do not let them hoodwink you. I love you guys. I hope you had a great holiday. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.